Good afternoon, I'm Nicola Creati and I will introduce you to geod geodynamic simulation in HPC with, uh, with Python. HPC stands for High Performance Computing, that is the usage of supercomputer and parallel technique to solve par um, a difficult problem, complex problems, complex problems. Uh, in our case, geo uh, geodynamics problems. Geo uh, uh, geodynamics is, uh, is, uh, is the dynamics of uh, surface and, uh, and deep earth processes. <laughs> is about the dynamics of uh, surface and deep earth processes and is a challenging uh, subject in earth, the earth science. Since uh, 90, si 1960, when plate tectonics established, according to plate tectonics, the outer shell of the earth is split in, in several plates, tectonic plates, that interact at their boundaries, where, the, where, the, where there are, of course, several earthquakes and uh, and, and volcanoes uh, eruptions. Um, the tectonic forces uh, act on uh, on the surface of the heart and on the on the, and on the deep part and on the deep part of the heart. Since the establishment of plate tectonics, uh, ge ge geodynamics uh, moves from a, a qualitative approach to a quantitative approach, and the numerical simulation. Uh, is needed since uh, earth, earth processes are a too slow of the, of the order of millions of years and too deep of the order of hundreds of, of kilometers to, to be observed di 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 directly. Actually, most of the software packages are written in C, C, C++ and, uh, and Fortran, but then the main problem is that Earth scientists has not enough programming knowledge or, or skills to, to use or modify it. One of the solutions is to use commercial software, but this software is not built to work to solve geo, geo, a, a geodynamics problems. So one of the solutions could, could be Python. But uh, there are some presentations about uh, Python and uh, HPC, but uh, none of them um, show a case studies. The only one successful pro project is GPO, that is a, a big project, but is not a geodynamic ap application, and they, and they use very well Python with a bit of C uh, to, to run on HPC com supercomputer. Another, another, another uh, software is, G, is GeoClow, but uh, is, uh, is modeled only ge geophysical flow, mainly flooding, and uh, I'm not sure, but it works only on shared mem and memory systems. What we did is, is to write a new, a, new, a new code. We wrote this in the last year. This is an, a bidimensional thermomechanical co parallel code that is, that is able to model large ge geodynamics uh, uh, problems. It, uh, it is based on a well-known widespread technologies is, uh, is based on the, on the solution of finite difference equation, like the conservation of mass stocks and energy heat equation. It, uh, it takes it, it take in account the, the realistic rocks or, or, or rheology in, in the earth that links stress and strain, and, we, we, and, it's ca and it's ca everything is coupled with a marketing cell methodology to, to, re to, re to, re re to reduce the, the numerical instabilities. Why parallel? We, we wrote a parallel code since uh, geodynamic pro problems are, are complex. The code cannot be executed on a single processor. It will, it will, it will require too much memory. And the, and the problem can be split in several parts that can be executed in, independently from each other. The main advantage is that data and, uh, and operation can be distributed among n and tasks of a processor, and, the and theoretically, uh, the code can run n time faster. This is not exactly true. On the other way, 
the, the program is is really complex and the, the, the and the, the and the debugging can be uh, a nightmare we first de develop a serial code mainly based on on numpy and, and scipy then we start to to write the, the parallel version and we and we, and we use the Python multi, multi processing mom, a, a module, but we have to abandon it since, since on some supercomputer, for, for example, the IBM Blue Gene series, the Python multi processing module was, is not available. So we, we moved to MPI and we, and, we, and we wrote the parallel version of our code. In order to, to build PYG mode, we use several third party packages. Some of them are, are parallel packages, some other, and uh, are based on MPI for Pi, for Pi, and much, many, 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 many other packages depends of of, Numa, of, of NumPy. The most important packages are Global Array Toolkit GA whose uh, binding are, are provided by GA, GA for, 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 for PAI, PC, for, uh, for PC and uh, HDF file. All of them depends of MPI, to MPI for, uh, for PI, and these three packages are, are the most important packages for the parallelization of the code. They take care of all the communication needed in our code, in fact, in over in over ten thousand lines of code, there are only five direct calls calls to to MPI methods. The global array toolkit GA uh, take care of all create and manage all the arrays that we have used in our application. Arrays are created by the, by this simple uh, simple. Uh, a, a method create in which you have to define type and, di and dimension of the of the of the array. In this case, we create an array to, of six row and and twelve columns. This is the real distribution of the of the of, of the array among uh, eight tasks. And this is the global ad address space that, that that we can use to. To work with uh, with the data. In fact, if if we if we need these elements, we do not ask for buffer seven on task four. But we just give use the get method, and we and uh, and we and we pass the global index of the of the element. If we if we need to, to put something here, we just use the put method and use the the global address address the a global index of the of the of the of the data. The most important point is that these objects are always NumPy array. Petsy was used to solve the the partial differential equation. Petsy is a is a package is a is a, is a library that uh, that that, pr that pr pr provide parallel solver. Linear and and uh, and, and non-linear solver, direct and iterative. Take take, uh, take care of all the, the communication need and needed for the solution of the of the e equation. It 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 provide a dense sparse array. It integrates for third-party libraries, but it's not a black box. You have uh, you need to know, you need to under understand what. It, it uh, it does in our application PYG mod G mod we use direct parallel linear system solver like MOMS and Superloadist. HDF file we use the HDF file to to to, uh, to store re, re, to store results of our uh, computation. Each it, uh, iteration is saved on a, a separate HDF file. file. And this file is a. Uh, uh, as, as inside all the arrays we we calculate and we and uh, thanks to h h five pi packages uh, in parallel IO is done by each task, task thanks to MPI. This, the algorithm is based on the creation of a, a grid, a mesh, 
and uh, the points are the are the mark. This is a cloud of po or random points that cover that cover the mesh. According to the GA G to, G to, uh, to, uh, topology, data are split and assigned to each to each task to each task. So we can we can find a local block of data. In order to to avoid uh, a border effect, we extend the size of the of of each block. Another important point of the algorithm is that uh, in the marker set technology that there are several interpolation processes between the marker between the, the marker and the, and the, and the node and back. This operation is an atomic operation. Uh, the time of execution that depends on the of the amounts of, of markers and the interpolation cannot be vectorized with uh, with the numpy. We we tried to speed up the code as much as possible. Every every calculation has been done with uh, locally with NumPy, and we and we in, in this case we have we have removed the double for loop, and we we wrote a vectorized version of the same of the of the same code. In, in this case, we had a speed up of seventy five times. Another important section is the communication between GA and PETC because GA global array are, are different uh, are different from PETC uh, array. So we cannot you, you cannot pass directly a GA array to a PETC array, but you have, you you have to uh, to extract from each task from each processor the local range of the PETC uh, array then. Take take this index and calculate the equivalent global array and extract the local portion of the global array that it, that it, that it will be used to, to to fill the local portion of the PETC array. When you get the solution of the of the equation, you have you have, you, have, you have to do the same thing to put back the data from from PETC to GA. We also wrote a log. A log class. This is based on MPI log uh, uh, MPI file module. It, it is very useful to de debug the code because you have uh, you have uh, on standard output uh, information about each tasks and each each simulation needs a configuration file. Configuration file are based on conf our config object file in in. Configuration file you can define every physical constant, but also you have a section where where you, you can define the mesh, the rocks rheology, rocks parameter, the geometry, the boundary condition, the the, the initial condition. We also coupled uh, the the config object par parsing with the pinned module in order to manage automatically manage the dimension. Unit uh, dimension of the of the quantity inv involved. One of the most important and critical point is the interpolation interpolation between markers uh, and the node. As we as I already already told, this is an atomic uh, interpolation and it, it cannot be vectorized with with the numpy. So what we did is just to convert every interpolation of operation with Cyton, and we just adding static typing a pointer for array we, we, we get speed up of 700 or 700 times we we go further and we and we remove the global interpreter lock and uh, and we activated trading so each each loop is split in in several parts this part is is calculated by the different trade they speed up uh -huh. Is really, is really, it is really good as a, and it and it, it, it depends on the on the number of thread of thread used. Since numerical simulation is create uh, a lot of data and a lot of, of number, we wrote uh, a viewer, a simple plotting uh, module to show to show the data. This is the, the a data can be showed on real time during. Uh, an evolution during a running simulation, or or after the, the or after the, the simulation is ended. In this uh, in this case, we this is a simple rifting model, 
where we have a, a plate that uh, that split a break a break apart, and uh, generally we, we this uh, this nine plot show the some of the most important quantity or arrays involved in our calculation. This uh, this module is based of um, of Matplotlib, NumPy, and H5PY. This is a simple example of uh, a slab model, which is a simple general dynamic model. Okay. This is conclusion. PYG MOS proved that it is possible to, to, to write an HPC application with a, a small pro programming effort. Third packages uh, helps to improve the productivity for, uh, for a research so, or programmer. The time Execution time can, can be can be re reduced and also the memory, the, the memory fruit, uh, footprint. And uh, third packages help to overcome the, the, the myth that Python cannot be used for computational intensive purpose. Actually, tests are running on on, on Chineka, that is a, an infrastructure that the, the problem that provides supercomputers uh, in order to tune the code and uh, and, ver and verify its scalability. Okay, I'm finished.